All right, welcome back here to the gym at North Center High School. Once again, Steve Acovino back with my colleague, Matt Fulmer. Second half action to start, Norristown hosting Central Bucks East. Right now, Norristown leads at 35-20 to 20 and looking to come away with a victory. Well, uh, you're right. And after, a, If you're just joining us, uh, the first quarter was rough for the Eagles, and they really came on strong in the second. So right now, in these next three to four minutes, we're really going to see whether East has made the proper adjustments on offense and defense, because there are adjustments on both ends that they needed to make. And we're going to see if Norristown keeps that momentum. So it should be interesting. All right, Norristown now moving from your left to right. For ours too. And... Already, fans are really starting to get into it now. And this one, okay, they're going to take this one out of bounds. Shot there, rolls around, good. Norristown gets two. 37-20 now in the beginning of the third quarter. Here comes CB East looking to strike back. Shot there, no good. Graham comes up with the re rebound. Russell Graham loses it, gets it right back. Sheldon Mayer has it. Mayer spin move there and gets two. Nice job, Sheldon Mayer. Very alert playing right now by Norristown's offense. 39-27-19 to go in the third quarter. CB East trying to get things going here. Shot there is no good, bounces out right into the hands of Norristown. Here they come, right back up the court. Mayer has it, takes a shot there, no good. Rebound, jump ball, and it'll be CB East possession. Fans not too happy about that call. Yeah, I think he had an extra hop in there on that one. Or uh, actually, you know what? He might have gone over the back, over the top on that one for that rebound. Because he was behind the defender. 6.48 now in the third quarter, CB East. Down by 19. There's a shot there, three-pointer. 39-23 now. Northstown still up. Shot there, no good. Well, and what we see so far here in the beginning of the second half is that East is still going to shoot it from the perimeter, and that's the way they want to go with it. And maybe they just don't feel comfortable with their inside game. Again, they are a smaller team. So that could be the, the big reason. But what? But if, if you're CBs right now, what do you have to lose if you try to try to get inside? There doesn't seem like they're trying to make any adjustments to what's happening. They're just continuing going with the same old game plan, and that is pass it around, get it to the outside, and throw it up and hope it goes in. Right, and obviously they saw in the second quarter that when their shooting runs cold and their opponent heats up, that formula will not work. But you know, maybe they're not capable due to their size, due to whatever. They're a jump shooting team, as you see them shoot another one. And, and they're gonna get some that are gonna fall, just like that one. But, you know, like I've said, they can't live and die by that. Five minutes, 53 seconds to go in third quarter, 39, 26, Norristown up. And trying to add to the lead. Now see, there's plenty of time, and that's why it's interesting that they're not trying to get down low at all like Mayer tries there, because there's so much time. Even if there were five and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter, I would still say don't jack up three-pointers yet. Maybe when you get inside three minutes left to go in the game, not just the third quarter, the game. True. Well, they're down 13 points, and Norristown's trying to extend that margin. Turnover there, long pass, nobody back. 
Two points there for CB East. 39-28. And we have a timeout. Norristown timeout. Oh, and, that's, and that's a good one because you could feel a slight shift in momentum. So that timeout will hopefully, for Norristown, stop that. Um, and if memory serves me correct, uh, that was the first fast break bucket for East. Really, maybe the second in the entire game, something they haven't really generated. And that is, you know, you do make it to the paint when you do that. So maybe that's the key. They need to get out on the fast break a little True. bit more as well. And that's the last thing you want to give CB East is any confidence at all, because right now they don't seem to have any. Right, you don't want to let them get those easy buckets because obviously they haven't tried to get them on their own, so why offer them up? Okay, Sheldon Mayer passes it to Russell Graham, back to Sheldon. Inside shot, no good. They're saying he's on the baseline, so it'll be CB East ball. 5-10 now. Clock stopped at the third quarter. Marstown leads it still, 39-28. Yeah, 32 tried to bring that air ball back in, but he was too far gone. Shot there for three. Another three-pointer for CB East. Well, the lead now down to eight. So it's getting closer. They're going to have to play a little tighter on the perimeter. And that one certainly helps. Another one from Wyatt. He says, if you can do it, I can too, son. 42-31, 4.30 to go now in the third quarter. Shot there, no good. Wyatt comes back up with it. Russell Graham has it again. Graham, two defenders on him, passes it back. Wyatt goes for the three. That one's good. It's a three-point clinic tonight here at Norristown. And Wyatt now stroking it. He is in a groove. He's got the hot hand, and I, I can't imagine the ball's going to go to anyone else on the next possession after that. Two uh, three-pointers, back-to-back shots, dropped them, no problem. 45-31 now, Norristown. He was anxious to get to that one. Got a hand on it, but couldn't push it back in. And I think the big turning point, the big adjustment made by the Eagles after that first quarter has to be the full court press defense. It's just got East baffled. They get a couple of those three pointers in there, but, and he walked on that one. Number 14, obviously upset. 3.50 now, Norristown with the ball back, 45-31, clearly in control. Back to Graham, back to Wyatt, and he'll skip it back to Graham. Wyatt has it again, inside, back out. Norristown really moving the ball around, pass out to Russell Graham. Let's see, three-point territory again, Russell Graham sinks the three, it is now 48. 31, Norristown, and the threes are dropping. It's raining. When it rains, it pours, and it's pouring tonight, Steve. It's three straight possessions with three pointers. CB East takes a timeout. Three minutes and 10 seconds to go in this third quarter. And boy, Norristown has got to be licking the chops right now. Well, and that was a great run right there. Lead went from 8 to 17 in just two short minutes. Boy, I got to say, this team is so much fun to watch when everything's just flowing. It, they're, they're great, and they're right now, and I've said it before, they're playing smart basketball in this game. Uh, they're very alert. They're in this game, and they just got to keep continuing to do that. And if they will, they're going to be going on a pretty good run this year, definitely. Well, they're playing a very balanced game. And they've kept themselves legitimate by having a lot of time in the paint, driving to the bucket, and it's paid off because now East is expecting that often, and it's opening things up out on the perimeter. I mean, you see the last three possessions were three-pointers, two in a row by Khalif Wyatt, and then Russell Graham just dropped one from the corner. So the opportunities are just popping up left and right for the Eagles, 
because of how balanced and how versatile they are out on the floor when they play offense. Okay, CB East trying to find their legs somehow in the waning minutes of this third quarter. Three minutes and counting now left. CB East inside foul called. Yeah, a little less contact there, and that would have been a walk. CB East just trying to make a play here, trying to scheme something up. And there's another three. Well, they were watching. They were watching five closely up towards the top of the key, and they just weren't playing close enough out on the corner there. 48-34, Norristown. Two minutes, 20 seconds. Third quarter, Russell Graham. Bounce pass there. Shot, and it's good. Add two more to the board, and it's now 50-34, Norristown. Two minutes coming up now in the third quarter. Shot there's no good. Graham Whoa. gets his own rebound there. We saw a cluster of people just drop there, and we have a foul. Boy, a couple people hit the deck there, Matt. <laughs> well, the name of the game has been contact tonight. A lot of contact. Both teams want it bad. One minute, 39 seconds. Third quarter, 50-34 still. Norristown leads it. Number 14 coming out now in a little bit of foul trouble. Might have walked on that one. That was definitely close. Wyatt has it up with the shot. That one's in. Count it. And one. And that's the mark of a good offensive player. You can take the contact, drop the bucket, and draw the foul. Wyatt capitalizes it on the opportunity. 53-34. One minute 30 is on the clock. Third quarter action. Here comes CB East. Shot there for three. That one no good. Wyatt comes up with it. Did you notice nobody from East was down low for that rebound? It was all white shirts. They're spending a little too much time on the perimeter. As Wyatt comes up with two more, make it 55-34. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. Here's CB East. Shot lays in the rim, and good. Count two there. Okay, 45 seconds now in the third quarter. Russell Graham. Back out to Wyatt. Inside to Smart. Oh, nice play. Heads up there. And now, nice basket. That is textbook right there. Beautiful backdoor cut. Great pass. Really threaded the needle on that one. 21 seconds now. Counting down CB East. Desperately trying to put some points on the board. Norristown 57, CB East 36.
Shot up, no good. Rebound, Russell Graham gets it, and at the buzzer, it's short. So at the end of the third quarter, it is Norristown 57, CB East 36, and boy, things are really going good for Norristown. Well, that's true, and a lot of that goes to their defense, and of course their offense. They're playing well on both sides of the ball, and not only that, CB East is just not giving up with their stop and pop, just their jump shooting. They won't drive to the lane. They've had a few, but they're just camping out along the perimeter. And obviously, against a team like Norristown, that does not work. So, you know, looking at this score, Steve, barring a major implosion, Norristown has this. Eight minutes to go and up by 21. It would take a major collapse to lose this game. Well, still eight minutes to go, and you, you hate to think, but anything can go. You never know. We've seen things in the past where, where these teams have turned around and have done things that we thought weren't even possible from the way they played. So it's really, you know, just go out there again, Norristown. I just would want to see them play like they're still only up by two points. Right, and, and just like you're saying, while this game may technically be in the bag, they can't have that running through their minds right now because that's how that major collapse happens, when you get too confident and you just let it go. Okay, CB East comes out, ball stripped right away, and Russell Graham, good job there on the pick. Shot, no good, it bounces again. Well, almost gets it on the bounce, but no good. Ball almost stripped by Jared Smart, and it they're going to say it's Norristown's ball, it is. And you can see from what they're doing right now on defense that they don't have that in their heads where, you know, the game's in the bag. True. Playing the full court press still, which has been really successful for them tonight, so. They have just been aggressive on both sides of the ball right now, and here goes Wyatt again. Bonte Shippen. Aggressive, yet in control. Another board. Wyatt. Back out to Smart. Smart positions his players around him. Shippen for the shot, and that one's short. Norristown steals the ball. Nice shot by Jared Smart. Back out to Wyatt. Wyatt puts it up, no good. Shippen with the rebound, no good. And here comes CB East. Six minutes, 53 seconds now in the fourth quarter. Now see, he made the right decision on that play. With all those blue shirts around him, he just tried to tip it in. If you come down with that, you're going to get stripped. So even though the shot didn't fall, he still made the right decision. Okay. Fouls on CB East. So. Norristown will get the ball here. Sheldon Mayer. 57-36, Norristown leading it. We're in the fourth quarter. Shot there, no good, off the side of the rim, and here comes CB East. Bounce pass there, picked off, good read by Mayer. Long pass to Wyatt. Wyatt tries to go up. But he stopped. He got hit in the face on that one. That was a nasty foul. We haven't said this. I mean, it's been physical tonight, but we haven't yet said, well, that call was borderline flagrant. That foul was close to flagrant, Steve. This is both 57, 36 still, Norristown leading. Six minutes of 10 seconds now to go in the last quarter of play. Ooh, denied there, good job. Nice read too by the defense. Here comes Russell Graham. Graham, patient, gives it to Mayer. Finally back out to Smart, Wyatt has it. Wyatt, nice pass there. Oh, and he didn't come up with it. 
Oh boy, that was a nice little play. Norristown does get the ball back. They're just playing with so much energy right now. They, they're playing with so much energy, I think they could power the city of Philadelphia at this point. <laughs> All right, well, Russell Wyatt will get a rest. Well deserved one. And the fans want to tap on number 24. He grabbed onto the jersey. You mm -hmm. can't do that. And he did it again. Obviously not learning. He got a break the first time. Shot there is up and good. That was Paul Savage. Five minutes, 31 seconds now to go in the fourth quarter, 59-36, Norristown. So we've had everything. We've had holds, travels, everything, the whole gamut tonight. And I would wager that if the score was a little closer, or if you saw East on top, you would have seen a little more strict uh, calling from the officials on number 24 on those grabs. The first one was called. Obviously not a technical though. Two points right there off the glass. Count them. 61-36 now. North Allen still in command with under five minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Here comes CB East. In desperation. Really looking for something here. Norristown's defense has been rock solid, to say the least. Three-point shot there, though, for CB East. They're tough tonight from the perimeter. Well, and Norristown has allowed a few shots from the perimeter, but that's they've been a little bit relaxed around that arc, number one. And number two, this is a good three-point shooting team. Like we said, they live and die by it. And, here know, we, they do it pretty well. Here we go again, CB East. Walking in uncontested, 61-41, Norristown, 4-15 now in the fourth quarter. And sometimes those are unavoidable, and on the bright side of that, that's only the second or third of the entire game. Here we are with a little over four minutes left to play, so. The fast break points have been very limited for East. <laughs> All right, clock starts again. We Norristown's possession inside rolls around, can't get the basket. Okay. Shot there, another three-point opportunity, no good. Here comes Norristown. Basket bounces out and foul. And this is truly the, the mark of a great team. The game's almost over. Norristown still playing with the intensity that they began this game with. A little fatigue as we can see now from these free throws. And I think also factoring in after that really hard foul where Wyatt missed both free throws, I think he was a little shaken up, a little out of his rhythm because of that foul. Second shot there by Savage is good. So 62-41 now, Norristown. 3.45 to go in the fourth quarter. Timeout CB East. Well, and you have to imagine right now that Coach Evans is just telling them, keep doing what you're doing and let's just finish this one. We're almost there, let's finish it. I'm just going to say thank goodness I'm not on the CB East bus ride home tonight. <laughs> not going to be a fun ride. Uh, you and I both have been on the bus ride home with different sports teams after a loss. And, you know, whether it's basketball, football, bowling, you know, field hockey, 
it's never a pleasant ride, especially after a route like this. Always seems like the trip takes maybe an hour extra than it really originally should. Usually a very quiet ride. memory serves me right on those trips I would never be the quiet one even though if we did lose um, I'd never be the quiet one <laughs> couldn't figure out why nobody was talking there but finally <laughs> did eventually it took me two years to figure that out <laughs> well here goes Shibby East picking up two points there 62 43 now it's under three and a half minutes to go now in this fourth quarter well, if you notice, all the starters now out of the game. And this is good because it gives some of those guys that have been sitting on a bench an opportunity to come out, you know, test the waters a little bit. So really, it works out really well. And not only that, your starters, your key players at the top of your rotation will be fresh for your next game. If you think about it, this has been a very long week. Um, exactly. A, a week that I, I can't remember seeing this team in years past play three games in five days. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So that's a lot, and they're going to get to recover from that. CBE East continues just to try to look for something, and they're almost stripped of the ball again. It'll remain CBE East possession. And overall tonight, East has been pretty sloppy. I'm sure right now they wish they were playing more like the New England Patriots than the CB East Patriots. Ooh, wow. Well, I think it's nice sportsmanship there. Yeah, and that clearly shows that that contact was not intentional. He was just trying to get the ball and, and do something with it. So, and that's that's a great show of sportsmanship, like you said, to, to see him do that and, and show that he didn't intend it. Shot there, misses. And here comes Norristown. Savage has it. And a foul call. Shot no good. 62-43. Two minutes, 23 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Norristown leads it. And Savage will shoot two. First of two now for Savage. I think that's one of the major differences this year from last year and the year before, especially, Steve, the free throws. Uh, other than a few misses for whatever reason, they've hit most. Savage second shot is good, 64-43 now in Norristown, two minutes and 20 seconds. That's one thing we've seen from year to year, Norristown has just continually made improvements to their game. 21 went a little too hard on that one, bounced off the glass. Shot there, count it. Well, that was Lorenzo Christmas, nice touch. Savage's second foul. One minute and 54 seconds stands on the clock. 66-43 Norristown. Last quarter of play. And finally, I think for the first time tonight, we'll say 
Good penetration there from East. Too little, too late. First shot there is no good. Second shot is no good, and here comes Norristown the other way. Minute 45 now to go in the game. 66-43, and Norristown looking to probably put some more points on the board. Oh, there's a nice pick there, and layup for two. Shot there for three. That one spins around. Rebound, no good. CB East comes up with it, and oh, out of bounds. You know, while it's nice to see Norristown uh, still going for it, with 106 to play, my first thought is pass the ball as much as possible. Take as much time off that clock as you can. But then again, these kids haven't played until this quarter, so they, they want a chance to show what they can do. All right. We are officially under a minute to play in the fourth quarter. Shot there. Hey, when, hey, when all else fails, a little Bonnie English doesn't hurt, my friend. No, not at all. 66-47. Norristown, 38.5 seconds left in the game. That's the strategy there to stop Norristown from holding on to the ball, the foul. Foul shots, no good. Under a half a minute to go. Ball on the court, finally picked up. Shot, no good. Beautiful cut to the hoop right Add there. Add two more to the tally right there. You can't teach that. Two more there, and that's the end of the game. Norristown 68, Central Bucks East 49, and Norristown continues their perfect streak. Well, indeed, and there are three big things that we can give credit to in addition to the effort of both the coaches and the players, the three big keys to this win tonight. Number one, penetration. They kept East honest. They penetrated and opened up doors for those outside shots. The second, they out-rebounded East immensely. They got that ball and they had second, third, sometimes even fourth chances at a shot. And after that, on the defensive end, they really turned it around with the full court press. They had East baffled, confused. East didn't know what to do. They couldn't move, and it made their offensive set even harder to execute. So overall, a great game by Norristown on both ends of the floor. Those are Matt Fulmers. We'll call him Fulmers' keys to the game, to the win, actually. That's our first installment. Hopefully many more of those to come. We have a great win, and hopefully Norristown can keep this, this uh, streak going and they're playing very good smart basketball we hope you join us back here on NASD TV as Triangle Tournament is coming up stick with us for that and the rest of the games here on NASD TV channel 28 for our camera person uh, tonight Brandon Smith and Tess Kielostri I'm Steve Acovino speaking for my colleague Matt Fulmer saying have a good night everyone we hope to see you back here next time take care